Right, so let's have a go at this example. So here is our curve equation. Y is equal to 2 root x minus 1 squared over root x. And we have both the x and the y values. So the x and the y coordinates are both 1. So unlike the previous example where the x coordinate is given only, in this example both x and y are given. So first let's work out dy over dx. So let me first expand the brackets in the numerator. So I have 2 root x minus 1 squared. That is the same as 2 root x minus 1 into another 2 root x minus 1. So 2 root x times 2 root x is 4x. 2 root x into minus 1 is minus 2 root x or minus 2x to the power half. Minus 1 into 2 root x is minus 2x to the half as well. And minus 1 into a minus 1 is a plus 1. So if I add the like terms, we're going to have 4x minus 2x to the half minus 2x to the half is minus 4x to the power half plus 1. So this is what you should have when you expand the numerator. Now for this fraction, so we have 2 root x minus 1 squared over root x below. So if you have a fraction, the idea now is to divide each term in a numerator by the denominator term. So we need to divide each term in a numerator by x to the power half. So we're going to have as a result 4x over x to the power half minus 4x to the power half over x to the power half plus the 1 at the end divided by x to the power half as well. So let's simplify each term. So we're going to have 4 x to the power 1 divided by x to the power half is x to the power half minus the 4 the two x to the halves that we can cancel plus 1 over x to the half is x to the power minus half. So this is our simplified y. So we have y is equal to 4 x to the power half minus the 4 plus x to the power minus half. So with that, let's work out dy over dx. So when we differentiate, when I differentiate the first term, 4x to the half, multiply by the power, half times 4 is 2, so it's 2x. Then subtract 1 from the power, half minus 1 is minus half. When I differentiate a constant, it's 0. When I differentiate this final term, x to the minus half, multiply by the power, minus half times 1 in front is minus half, x. And then we subtract 1 from the power, minus half, minus 1, minus 3 over 2. So this is dy by dx. Using dy over dx, we can work out the gradient of the tangent. And I like to call the tangent gradient m1. So remember, if you go back to the screenshot, in order to work out the gradient of the tangent m1, we replace the x in dy over dx by the x coordinate. So if we go back to the paper and pen, so we have the coordinate of the point that the tangent passes through. The tangent passes through the point 1 and 1. So to work out m1, I'm going to replace the x's here by 1. So if I replace x by 1, we're going to have 2 into x, which is 1, to the power minus half, minus the 1 over 2, x, which is 1, to the power minus 3 over 2. 2 times 1 to the power minus half is 2, minus half into 1 to the minus 3 over 2 is half, 2 minus half, 3 over 2. So 3 over 2 is the gradient of our tangent. So we have the gradient of the tangent. We have the point 1 and 1, 
we're ready to work out the equation of the tangent. So let's work out the equation of the tangent. So since the tangent is a straight line, let's use the formula y minus y1 and that is m into x minus x1. So in this formula, x1 and y1 are given. So x1 and y1 are one and one. So let's make a note, one and one, since the tangent passes through this point. Whereas m, m is the value of m1. m1 we work that out to be three over two. So it's three over two, the gradient of our tangent. So if we substitute this data into this formula, we're gonna have, so we're gonna have y minus, y1 is one, that is equal to three over two for m, x minus x1, also one. So if we multiply the brackets, we're gonna have y minus one on the left, three over two times x is three over two x, 3 over 2 times minus 1 is minus 3 over 2 and if I take the minus 1 to the opposite side y will then be 3 over 2x minus 3 over 2 plus 1 is minus half. So this should be the tangent equation. Now if we go back to the screenshot we also need to find the equation of the normal as well. So if we go back to the paper and pen so the gradient of the normal, let me call that M2 again. So to work out M2, it's minus one over M1. M1 is the gradient of the tangent. So let's remind ourselves, M1 is three over two. So let's make a note of that, three over two for M1. So if I substitute M1 into here, M2 is minus one over m1 being three over two, we should have minus two over three. So minus two over three being the gradient of the normal. So since the normal and the tangent, they both pass through the points one and one. So one and one being x1 and y1. And since we have the gradient of the normal, let's now work out the equation of the normal. So using a formula y minus y1, that is m into x minus x1. So x1 and y1 are the points one and one, whereas m is the value of m2, which is minus two over three. So let's substitute the data into the formula to give us y minus y1 is one, that is equal to m, which is minus two over three into x minus and x one is one. So if we expand the brackets, y minus one on the left is equal to minus two over three times x is minus two over three x. Minus two over three times minus one is plus two over three. And if I take the minus one to the right hand side, we're gonna get y equals minus two over three x, and two over three plus one is five over three. So this should be the equation of the normal for example two. So that completes that example, and that also sadly ends this video. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, a like is very much appreciated. Do plenty of practice related questions and I hope to see you again. Thank you.